The new pitches at Donnybrook hosted an afternoon of rugby on Saturday. First up on the back pitch, the Division 2 final was played out between Cook and Carlo. Cook, with classy players such as international backs Grace Davitt and Ashley Baxter, ran out easy winners by 47 points to nil. In the second women's game of the day played under lights, on the main pitch it was clear from the start that it would be a high intensity encounter. Blackrock were keen to knock the defending champions Old Belvedere off their perch. However, after just three minutes when Blackrock were making all the metres, a stray pop pass from international Vicky McGinn found its way into the hands of Belvo's outside centre O'Byrne White, who raced away to touch down for the opening score of the game. Irish international out half Nora Stapleton was unable to add the extras. As time wore on, Old Belvedere began to leak a few penalties due to the sustained pressure that Blackrock enforced, and referee Helen O'Reilly sinbinned O'Byrne White in the 25th minute. Open side Neve Fitzgerald also saw yellow just seven minutes later, and the title holders were down to 13 players. Blackrock's persistence finally paid off when winger Tammy Breen scored a try with five minutes to go before the break. Deacon missed the conversion, and the first half ended, honours even, at five points apiece. After a number of scuppered chances, Belvo grabbed their second try of the afternoon through replacement prop Roisin O'Donnell, just shy of the arrow mark. This time Stapleton added the conversion, 12 points to 5. Old Belvedere began to show their ability to close out matches and it looked as if they had sealed the title when another front row replacement, Ruth McElroy, went over after a series of pick and goes. Stapleton, who had been controlling the match from out half, with great composure successfully kicked the conversion to put 14 points between the sides with just over five minutes left on the clock. With Old Belvedere now firmly in the driving seat, Jenny Murphy came on, just back from captaining Ireland to victory in the Dubai International Sevens, and she powered through the Blackrock defence. The 21-point defeat did not fully reflect the huge endeavour from Blackrock's players, but yet again, Old Belvedere showed their quality, and they will take their league silverware just around the corner to Anglesey Road for yet another year. The final score from Donnybrook, Old Belvedere 26, Blackrock 5. Thank <laughs> you.